everybody, we're doing a quick tarot reading. I just want to show this beautiful jade candle I got. It's got chunks of jade in it. I actually got it at Five Below, guys. Crazy, right? So it's actually a kid's store. But anyway, let's see what goes on here. We're using the badass tarot deck. Thank you, Amy, by the way. We need to know for the collective. Oh my goodness. Like shifting stuff almost the whole deck and all over the place. Lots of energy. Nine of swords. Ooh, financial loss. Maybe somebody lost a job here. Or someone's about to have to pay you. Let's see what follows it. The Hierophant came out like this. Something's owed to you in a contract or somebody um, has to pay out money because of a contract. Could be a divorce, could be a business contract. Page of Wands in reverse. Something wasn't disclosed in a contract so someone could be being penalized. I don't know why I'm hearing breaking contracts. Again, it could be marriage. Why is Page of Wands in reverse? The Star and the Magician. Keeping it to yourself. Um, maybe you have some dirt on somebody. You're about to pop off in court with it. Some of you might be winning a court case going in your favor. Or you're teaching, or teaching, did not mean to say teaching. Um, you're keeping a secret lover while you get out of a marriage. Or you're protecting an asset here, a chosen project. Um, maybe from your company, you could be trying to branch up. Um, say you're in a management company and a talent, a star comes to you and you're like, oh, I just want to be their manager. I don't want to work for this company. This company's going to treat them like shit. We're going to secretly um, not accept this company's offer, but sign with me. Um, your company could technically do a breach of contract if they found out about it, so that's why you're keeping it hush-hush. Or they're taking a loss, and you're, t you're getting a vein. A vein. Oh, my God, a win. <laughs> My brain, I don't know if you've been following me. I had a brain tumor a few months ago. I'm healing, but some days I just have trouble with my words and speech. So I'm really sorry I can't control it. But it, it also could be channeling if it's relevant to you. I don't ever really believe in coincidences. If it's mailing your story, I feel like spirit might just be talking through my mouth. Who knows? <laughs> I'm just the translator. All right. Tell me why the magician is here. King of Cups, Three of Swords, game over. You're ending a third party because you're in love with somebody else or you're ending a business contract to go your own way. The Empress, the Chariot, and the Ten of Pentacles. For most of you, this is love. You see someone as everything, as your wife, as your husband. You have deep feelings for this person. You know this person is your one. And you can't come to them until you come correct. So you are not letting the person you are already in a commitment with know about this person. Whether it's a love thing or a, a talent thing. You're keeping this under wrap until you're out of your third party situation. You're, you don't want this third party to find out and get in the mix here. But you do see something as very prosperous, especially for yourself. This could be about business. You see this at very successful. You're keeping it close to your... You want all the money or you want all, all the happiness to be concealed. You don't want anybody, um, none of these karmics to touch it. So why is King of Cups here? Why are we keeping this Empress a secret? The whole, like, literally whole deck came out. <laughs> Spirit, why is the Empress here? Let's start there. 
Page of Swords in Reverse, Ten of Swords. Uh, there could be some conflict with this Empress. This is a baby mama energy. Baby mama using kids. Um, using money to keep... Uh, it could be a baby daddy too. Whichever this masculine wants out of this... Somebody's baby mom is being a problem. But they're stopping this empress is somebody you have a commitment with in a contract with married to with babies that you've already established something with this empress you're not telling them something that you're moving in a new direction and this um person is pissed sensing it they're just trying to keep you from a new start here all right why is the king of cups here Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and Five of Cups. This person could be in lack that you're keeping a secret. Um, you might want to come in and help them with their career, but for most of you, this is about love, wanting a new start, a new life, but not feeling like you're enough or feeling like this person's going to pick you. Um, you don't have enough money, you, don't, you are still in a third party situation, you can't offer this person what they want or you can't come correct. You're weighing your options. Why are you weighing your options here? Are you still juggling two people? We have Eight of Pentacles and the Tower. Yeah, no more juggling. Spirit's uh, making a decision for you here. But you have options. Um... Your karmic person could just be after money here. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Somebody's got options. Knight of Swords in reverse. Oh, it flipped itself up right. Okay. So somebody's speaking some truth bluntly. I feel like to this baby mom, you're like, you're too, you're partying too much. You're just about the money. You're lessening my image, my brand, um, embarrassing me to my friends, anything like that. Um, this is speaking very, very blunt truth, causing that tower moment, the breakup with the empress, somebody you already have something established with. I feel like this is a dark empress, though. This isn't a positive empress that you're trying to step away from. Tell me more about this one that you are in lack about, King of Pentacles. So you have King of Cups, King of Pentacles. You want emotional stability you want to be able to provide for this person it's like you're, you're getting your life in order this person or thing deserves all of your time all your attention resources so it's like you're trying to clean up this mess tell this karmic what to do you're making a decision on which one you're going after you're either like all right i need to give up this person that i'm hiding and give my energy into this and keep going or you're letting that person you are already established with go I feel like this is within the next few days you are dropping one and going for the other or just mentally picking one and making those steps because there is a little bit of sneaky energy so many cards want to keep coming out clear and precise thank you <laughs> spirit seven of wands and the lovers this person that you want ha might have other options on the table. You might be feeling a time crunch. I feel like although there is that, there is some competition. You might have past lives here or you feel this way about this person. Tell me more of, about this competition. Why am I feeling competition? Four of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Um... This person isn't getting anything from you in the 3D. Yeah, they see you happy with your third party. I don't think in their mind that your family home is bad at all. Um, this person wants a new start or could be getting a new love offer. Um, could be indulging in things that they're not really um, in love with, though. They could be ending things as well or they ended things with you because you're in a third party. Eight of Wands. This person is just trying to live their life. I feel like have a happy summer vibe. 
one more for you what do you need to know nine of wands yeah this karmic is going to make it help karmic is the issue you need to make the choice here i hope this was helpful I'll see